Houston and surrounding areas. Did a recent hurricane or hailstorm damage your roof? If so, call Alpha Roofing and Claims at 682-206-3109 and ask for Jazz, your new favorite roofer. And then when school passed, everybody thought it's going to die. No, it's not. Never. You know why? It's never going to die. I'm going to tell you why you know what I'm it's never, never going to die. Gonna. Because screw been gone since 2000. Mm -hmm. If you go to that shop, man, the man got over 350 chapters. Oh, of, of body of work he done done and that's not even I always say a thousand and, and, new, and new old releases starting yeah. to pop out yeah, now yeah, yeah. So, a lot of, yeah I, you see I like a it's, it's, it's um no that's what's out you can go right now I thought it was a thousand. you know what I'm saying it's like 350 60 chapters but yeah, I know. I can say he still got enough music where the shop can drop at least 10 or 20 more takes for the next 10 years. You know what I'm saying? That's never been released. And for somebody to have a body of work like that, and it still sells, I'm talking about, like the shit just came out yesterday. It's 2021. The man been gone 21 years. Mm -hmm. And for your music still to fly out of shelves, and you walk in there, and I walk, I be there daily, like, and I look, and you just see empty holes in the shelf. Man, we are the 183. Right, we are the 87. They didn't represent gone. June 27, man, it's back on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to steady just reorder, reorder. Like, it came out yesterday. And a lot and a lot of people don't know. It like, you know, even before the DJ dramas and the cannons, screw ain't, labels ain't never fuck with screw about putting their artists on his tapes. He get the records from the labels. You know what I'm saying? We go to school house. We provided, man, let me see that. Oh, it's the instrumental on the back. Ah, we going to freestyle that now. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that they wanted school to put. Man, true story. Let me tell you a story. True story. True story, man. All right, lump, big lump. Okay. Mac 10 was out here. So he was at the Embassy Suites, right across from, um, what was that, um, everybody was going to by Galleria? Roxy's. It was the Embassy Suites, right across from Roxy's. That's where he was at. And it was me, <clears throat> Screw, Shorty Mac, and the third. The third was with us. It was the third. So, Lump like, man, you know, Mac wanna, you know, meet you, woo woo. So, boom, we leave, shoot to the hotel. When we pull up, School call Lump. Mom like, man, I'll be right back 20 minutes over around the corner. So school like, all right. So he get out the car, go in and get some ice. <laughs> so when he come back, get in the car, you know, like every embassy suite is made the same. When you walk in, it's the atrium, and you could be like mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. you, He say some niggas was upstairs like, man, who is that? Who is that? You know, as he walking out the door. So when he's sitting in the car telling me that, two dudes come out. You know what I'm saying? They come out, they pop a truck up a car, get some shit out the car, go back in the hotel. They looking though. So Lump, um, Lump Kyle screwed. He like, hey, you in that problem? He like, yeah. He's like, y'all four deep? He like, yeah. He said, I remember many calling boys up there, man. They just called me talking about, hey, man, some dudes downstairs in the blue and pile of 4D. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yeah, nigga, it's a true story, man. And Mac 10 come down there, boom, him and his whole camp. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, man, he screwed, man. I, man, I give you whatever songs you want, man. I I just want to rock, you know, fuck with you, rock with you. You know what I'm saying? His whole camp. And that's crazy because, you know, Mac was the blood. You know, he had crib niggas with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, so it goes to show how his style of music, man, just was on a whole nother level, especially on the West Coast. That's he loved the West Coast, you know, he did hmm. you know, screw he in the West Coast all day, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, just things like that. Like like I say, like man, them them labels, they were sending him records, you know what I'm saying? They wanted him to put their 
or the songs on them tapes. You know, so he never got a real backlash of people want to come sue him or hitting him because they got his. You know, he got that from <clears throat> down there artists here. You know what I'm saying? You know, just so you know. But nah, it really wasn't no problem. Hmm. Putting them songs on his on his tape. You know, never so. Heard that. Yeah. OG, when when you uh when you first yeah. hear like start hearing about like DJ Screw? Um, when I went to college, right before I went to college, you know, ninety <clears> one, <throat> my homeboy from the north side, he was getting ready to go to Grambling. And he was like, Man, I gotta go to the uh, South Side man, get these DJ Screw tapes. And I was like, Man, what's that? He's like, Shit, man, you know, DJ Screw, you know, DJ on the South Side make these mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's the first time I had heard of it. I never heard of it though. Never heard it yet. But when I get to college, he went to college the year before me. I went to college the next year, ninety two. And um to Wiley, well that summer in ninety one, ninety two. So when I got there, I met some dudes from the south side. And that's in they room, that's all they was banging, loud as hell, screw, DJ screw all night, you know what I'm saying? My own boy, you know, he fat boy, he locked up, you know what I'm saying, he locked up for, Long time right now, but that's these were my niggas, Andre and, and, and Marlon and all them niggas want to put me on screw, cause they 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 grew up in the, I guess they grew up over there, <clears throat> they was from over there, they from South Side, so and we in the mix of this North Side South Side thing. That you know, early? This, this is ninety two, bro. This this ninety two, hmm. so it was that shit was heat, you know what I'm saying? So for me to go. Four hours away from the crib, and at first when we first got there, yeah, it was North Side South Side rivalry, right? Mm -hmm. But we had to immediately become Texas. Um, no, we had to immediately come first Houston against Dallas. Mm -hmm. So we ain't had time for North Side South Side no more. You know what I'm saying? We we got to put that shit down because now because we nigga we we away from home See, nigga we got to represent for Houston now. So that's how my South Side, you know, became. So when I come back, I was, I never, I never got into, I, I never got to experience none of that because I had homeboys on the South Side. So now that I start working for radio in 93 and I'm driving the van, I got to go everywhere so I can come and mess with them niggas over there. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I started meeting all these, that's how I met all them. You know what I'm saying? That's how I started meeting all them and, niggas in the 90s. I have been on these niggas. And, a, and, a, and, a, and another thing, I want to make clear, when you talk about 91, 92, Northside beef, this way before Screw. Mm. This way before they talking about on Screw tapes, about the car stealing out. This, it was, yeah, that was just some, just some Northside, Southside beef. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It just been going on yeah, yeah, in yeah. the city. Yeah. Just, so, because when it, when it comes up to that era when, you know, about the, the Screw tapes and you know, the north side and the car stealing and, you know, most of that. That was like, you know, the ninety fours and ninety five, ninety six, you know what I'm saying? That that was that was that. And screw one never on no fuck north side type of shit. I'm finna tell y'all something y'all don't know. What I'm finna I'm finna tell y'all tell y'all something. All right. My first cousin. My daddy's sister, son, is my first cousin. You heard of RWO group, mm -hmm. Riverwood? Yes, sir. Tucci? Riverwood organization, yeah. Tucci, yeah, had Snow, yes, the product before snow. the other Snow. Exactly, right. Short, clean. That's all, yes. Tucci, that's my Black first cousin. Yes. Hmm. He rapped on the screw tape way before some of these SEC members. Black Superman, like, yo. Yeah, black. No shit. And he from Riverwood. So it wasn't even really about it wasn't really no you can't be from the north side and be on no screw. This is what I'm was, saying. Like we were just bro, watching the fight at the um screw shop the other day. The uh, the wilder fight. And my cousin too. He came up there and watched the fight with us. So Bub I always you know, fuck him like, yeah, like he always say, like, yeah, nigga, I'm the first north side nigga to rap on. Well the only north side nigga at that time rapped on the screw tape. Like, yo, my fairy, yo. Man, my good friend, man, was in, you know, when you know, Screw had got locked up for a few seconds, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, my friend was in jail with him from the north side. Wait, Screw got locked this whole album. Ain't nobody told this story. This is what, you know what I'm saying? This is how he tell me him and Screw. Mm, it been for a day. 
Yeah. Uh, whatever it was, uh-huh. bro. Because I don't remember. All I going, know is him and Screw was so tight. This nigga lived in the heart of Fifth Ward, bro. Hmm. His name is Keedra Phil. Look at that. See, like, nice. it was all on. You know um, that's why I say it wasn't no. It never was. I, it wasn't. I told never you, know. Daddy, what I told yeah. you on the first. It what never, never won that. Yeah. See, Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.